evening hours. I do think we break up some of that cloud cover, but temperatures still don't move a whole lot. By 10 o'clock, back down into those upper 20s. Now, as we head through the overnight hours, any clouds that do break up will start to fill back in. Tomorrow is going to be a more active finish to the work week. We're talking about temperatures warming back into the 40s and it comes with rain. That rain will be here as early as the morning commute for many. We're going to pause CBS 4 future view here at 730 AM. So not everybody wet at this time, but certainly we will start to see some scattered showers developing, especially north and our western county. So north of I 70 and you think that fills in reaches its peak right around the lunch hour. And even at this point, we could see some of our far northern counties. I'd say a Kokomo to Lafayette and north line that could be getting in on a few snow showers and a wintry mix. Most of us, though, will be seeing just rain out of this. The bulk of the showers push off to the east as we head into the late afternoon. This is five o'clock, but we're not completely done with the rain. We'll keep widely scattered showers around and after we get into the evening hours, a cold front moving through will transition any leftover moisture into a few areas of some snow showers, primarily in our northern counties, more isolated in nature, but certainly a possibility into early Saturday morning. So what does that mean? That means that we're going to cool down quite a bit as we see temperatures rise into the mid 40s tomorrow afternoon. We'll see them diving into the weekend where temperatures by Saturday are down into the mid 20s and only rise into the upper 20s. It'll be a cloudier start to the weekend once again with flurries around two and then by Sunday morning we're down to signal digit temperatures down to nine degrees and then on Sunday a second clipper system will be passing on through. We could see some snow chances as early as the afternoon into the evening, keeping us with some early morning snow showers into Valentine's Day on Monday. But we'll take temperatures from the 20s this weekend to the mid 40s, Nick, by Tuesday and then by Wednesday, looking at a high of 57, something to look forward to.